my perfectly magical pals today we have an awesome collaboration with amazing youtubers we're going to show you how to use things from your pantry during these incredibly weird times i hope you all enjoy this is an incredibly easy recipe it's mushrooms egg salt pepper thyme and some cheese now i make these in little muffin tins so that i can have them throughout the week okay so you want to make sure that you rinse off your mushroom you can use any type that you want i'm gonna pop off my stems make sure that they are dry because these do hold a lot of moisture you don't want to keep any extra moisture in i'm gonna make nice thin long slices because these are long I am going to cut them into smaller chunks so I'm going to get about a half a cup so you are going to make sure you kind of whisk your eggs I like using chopsticks because I find that I can get in there a lot better than I can with a fork I'm going to add our pepper and then a a little bit of salt, doing about two pinches. This is all to taste. This is what you like. This is just the basics. I'm using some thyme. My oven should be preheated to 350. I'm just going to take a little bit of vegetable oil and rub it into the tin. If you have cooking spray, that works just as well, but I find that this method is easy, easy. Where you add your mushrooms and put a little layer in the bottom. You can use green peppers. Um, I've cut scallions from my garden before. And once it gets warmer out, I will definitely start doing that. I'm gonna use this uh, spoon, just kind of some of my egg mixture moving a little bit easier. And then top. I'm gonna put on a little bit of cheese. It's just a mild cheddar. I have cut out dairy, um, but this just gives it a little crusty on top. And it also gives it a little more bite. Oh, dear heavens, Betsy, what would Gordon Ramsay say? Tell you what he'd say. He'd say, they're eggs, respect them. I'm not respecting my eggs. Okay. Yay! So once they are done, you're going to put them in a 350 degree oven for um, about 20 minutes. You want to check on them after 10, um, kind of poke at them and see how they're doing. What I love about these is that you can freeze them for a couple of weeks. I eat these throughout the week and they are delicious. The time gives it that perfect herb to go with your mushrooms. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please make sure that you go and check out every one of the participating channels. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Bye guys. See you real soon.